day starts off with morning report. The pastor reads from the Bible, then the staff discuss what they've read. After announcements are made, the non-medical staff need to start the day's work. But before the doctor can start rounds, the nurses on call the previous night give a medical report on how each of the hospitalized patients is doing. Abscess. She uh, perhaps she might have had a botched abortion or uh, just developed spontaneously from typhoid fever with the perforation in her mouth. But regardless, she has a huge abscess like this in her abdomen. And we're going to take her to the ER today to try to find out what exactly is there and uh, remove the abscess, drain the abscess. Rounds start in the emergency room, where patients needing the most attention are kept. <coughs> this little girl, however, is doing much better and will soon be moved to pediatrics. Next stop, maternity, where all pregnant cases are kept, regardless of whether or not they've had their baby. He had a CNS infection with coccin. This man is well on the road to recovery, but what he needs most now, Dr. Harvey explains to his wife, is food. While some of the wards have private rooms, most of the wards just have six beds in one large room. The men's ward is one of the open ones. As you can see, all six beds are full. Next up is the men's surgery ward. This is how bad he has that tibia and tuberculosis of the spine. Women in Congo work exceedingly hard to keep their children fed, clothed, and to keep their households running smoothly. They deserve that bed rest. And so it's here that Dr. Hari finishes rounding on his patients. This tractor is what provides electricity for the operating room, and it's not starting.
after a long time of working on it, the tractor finally started. The culprit? Palm nuts were clogging the engine. Hey, I gotta get changed. The tractor is up and running, the OR can have lights. Next, Dr. Harvey goes back to his office to do some consultations. This poor old man came in holding a pan into which his catheter emptied. He had already been to the government hospital where they tried to pull it out, but to no avail. Needless to say, it took a while to get it out. After a brief meeting with the hospital administrator, Rachel Moray, it's back to work. After a long and very tiring day of work, Dr. Harvey is finally ready to go home.